Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood.
He's right. Time to get my shit together. Never could bring myself to send these. Whenever I tried to tell him how much I missed him, it felt unfair. my laundry. Ugh. Maybe later. <sighs> There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. Good to know I look just as bad as I feel. Wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? I gotta think about something else. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox at 12. I miss the slopes. The days have gotten so short. It's gonna be a long winter. Eddie looks so young here. What the? something. God, I feel so weak. <sighs> so many months of snow boots ahead. I always loved this one. Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. I should have talked to him about what happened, but what the hell was I supposed to say? I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. was a good memory, even though Tyler couldn't come. Eddie must have been back and forth to Juno all the time to these shows before he got stuck here taking care of me. I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here. Haven't heard him play in a while. It just sits there collecting dust. Secret keeper in her secret keep. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that... They'll help me figure this out. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins...
ones that'll help me figure this out. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. I need to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus and clear my head. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. I can't really eat anything right now. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stops. Maybe if I make something for D, it'll help calm me down. I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. He says there's a plant for every pain, except heartache. I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. Must be great to feel like you belong somewhere. Anywhere. What if I just packed a bag and left? Never looked back. Ah, here's my ID. <sighs> this place was never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My claim deserves better. Torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. God, the world feels so fucking small right now. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. Allison, please. It's a damn shame. Come on, Allison. Don't start. <sighs> I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Would he even get it? I don't feel like listening to anything right now. You swore, Allison. It's nothing. This is nothing. I 
wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. I got pretty lucky with this job. Dessa and Tom really took a chance on me. All my recent pay stubs should be in that folder in my room. here. Not here. I could call Michael, but what would I even say? I never imagined Uncle Eddie was hiding so many things from me. Here they are. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? Allison, help! Uh, Allison, please. The Mad Hunter. What's wrong with me? deal with you right now.
What's it doing here? Hey, Dee. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. Ugh, the paint smell in here is kind of overwhelming. I've been pretty grinchy about Christmas since I came here. <laughs> Eddie tries so hard. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. We deserve that. This is a totally different life. Eddie can't cope with getting rid of any of Carol's stuff. Tyler and I should bike around the lake when we've patched things up. I miss you, pup. Eddie's been too busy to fish lately. I know he's missing it. Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hey, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay. Uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? We had a fight. I think we just needed to get out of each other's hair for a little bit. I'm sorry to hear that. You were so happy he was coming home. Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. <clears throat> So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. 
Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh. Especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I... I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I, I'm pretty beat. Oh, oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip, avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. What's up with him? I'm not sure I've ever seen him so eager to help. I think he and Tess are legitimately concerned. Plus, uh, door to door is part of campaigning, right? Yeah, I guess. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know. I, I've just got this feeling it's going to fall through and, and I'm going to be stuck here forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. Allison, what's going on? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. And it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. So, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> oh God. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um... I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? Anxiety's through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick, and... And I've been seeing things. Memories. 
of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and Eddie and... It used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but... Now I see them everywhere. Shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Come here, Allie. I hear you, okay? I hear you. You must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno. I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that. And so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if I might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Hi, Dee. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. <laughs> what are you working on? Chief pulled over a truck for speeding this morning and found some illegal game in the back. I'm registering the ticket. <laughs> they never learn, do they? Nope. Okay, how did you not immediately scarf this down? You kidding? This is my third helping. Morning. Hola, Miss Ronan. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? 
Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. Chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Hey, Gregs. <laughs> Going around in circles? Nothing really. Just waiting for Dee. <laughs> then pull up a chair. What was going on with me this morning? So fucking scary. God, I hope no one got hurt. You all right, kid? Yeah, just super tired. This guy's first ticket. At least we didn't spend the night here. His last either. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. Uncle's in there. Whew, he's really letting that guy out. I probably shouldn't eavesdrop. But no more snooping. No more snooping. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. My folks at Yonder Brother live here. Let you know him. Works at the post office. Name's Danny. I promise I belong here this time. I wish I could have just stayed in bed all day. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in wrestling, and, oh boy, is he working hard. Damn. Sometimes I miss being 14. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? What are you having? Trout pie and, uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. Hey, Gregs. Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. What you reading? 
Oh, uh, about that dock strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh, I hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on! It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. Hey, Gregs. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Eh, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. And it's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. <sighs> hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Hmm, an animal? Like a raccoon, maybe? Have you been eavesdropping in on official police business? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. It's not much, but... You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Delos Crossing's not going to be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? What do you mean? Well, you know, how he went and broke into the archive room, then pretty much assaulted your uncle? Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah, the sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the Chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people... They mostly don't change. Even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest. Stable. You're not a troublemaker. Tyler... I mean... If he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I... I can't... I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. Before. This will pass. Uh, 
Fibbing. I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or when I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids. I, um... I went back to the house and got a few things for you. I know how much she's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back, and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look. You're not your mother, okay? 
What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... It never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You gotta tell those ghosts to move on. Uncle. It was me. I... is the one who... had the scissors. What? What, what are you saying? She... she was threatening Tyler. So I stabbed her. <laughs> I killed her! <laughs> I killed my mother! <laughs> but Tyler confessed. He... He went to fireweed. We lied! We lied to everyone! <laughs> How? How could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> but we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. I pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> it's not easy to admit something like that it takes a lot of courage Allison I, I should have seen it I'm so sorry none of this was fair to you too Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. And really tired. Oh. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed, did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. How close were he and Marianne? I... I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He was over at our house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but 
I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Hi, Sam. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. <sighs> I can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to, uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. Well, all right, uh, here she is. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it's time for annual haul out. Haul out? Oh, yeah. You gotta get her up out of the water so you can fix up the haul. And I've been uh, missing some tools I need, so it's taking a while. No bananas on board? Really? Damn right. It's not just superstition. This one time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. And this was the banana's fault. Bananas are bad luck, sure as hell. Every single time I throw a banana off board, the fish start biting. All right, if you say so. So, um, how's she doing? Huh? You, uh, you go to her diner sometimes, right? Your friend works there? Oh, you're trying to ask me how your ex-wife is doing. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we ate at the diner the other night. She was there. She had just cut all her hair off. Hmm. Yeah, she always wanted to do that. How was she otherwise? Sam, why don't you just talk to her yourself? I do. I talk to her. I ask about Richie and, and Dylan. Too. She just doesn't really talk back. And maybe you should respect that. Right. Uh, 
Where's your brother? We had a fight. <laughs> Bit of sibling rivalry, huh? Oh, you should have seen me and my little brother have at it. Right up. Right up till the end. The, uh, how's the house coming along? Honestly, physically painful. It'll be a miracle if I don't throw out my back. Let your brother do the heavy lifting. So he can throw his back out? <laughs> Not better. So, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. Having some trouble? I can't get these nuts loose because my idiot cousin let them rust. I got a can of rust remover somewhere. If you come across it, pass it over, yeah? Oh, uh, sure. Encyclopedia of Astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. Oh, that's funny. We both like astronomy. Oh, yeah. Funny. <laughs> oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Yeah, your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things. Impressive collection. You want some? Take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Whoa, that's a really nice sextant. Oh, it sure is. It's a present from my old crew for my 30th birthday. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way, you know? Spray somewhere in this mess. Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks, princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a rig can. Not a princess.
The rust remover's in some sort of spray bottle. Should say, sticky mechanisms on it. Good. Now, let's see. Should be just about... Uh-huh. Pass me that wrench, will ya? Sam? Are you our father? Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... He ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. But you two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. When was the last time you cracked a window? Looking sharp, first mate, Kansky. Uh, what's that now? These pictures. Oh, well, yeah, that... That was, uh... A long time ago. Where all did you travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asia route. Vietnam, Cambodia... Around those parts. Wow. I had no idea you were so worldly. Well, I, uh, I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's, there's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship, steering her toward a deep blue horizon. Uh, what do you do on board? Oh, I worked the deck. Started out doing maintenance. Collecting the garbage, cleaning the hull, ranked up to navigation after a while. Right. Hence the sextant. Much better. If it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. Uh, you want to take a seat? Why is there a burnt up pan in your garbage? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad you're still with us.
What's all this? Here, I uh, kept a few things. Swords and schemes. Oh, I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. Did you like it? I, uh, well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh-huh. <laughs> she saved up for a whole year to make that happen. Mother made that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. <laughs> Look at these ones. She looks happy. Mm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jim, you closed the whole thing up. I told her it was gonna be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're gonna have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Ellie, you really gonna go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's it's all that it's all we got left. <laughs> you can't just throw it away. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Shin bone snapped in three different places. Stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, well, she doesn't have none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out all morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. 
You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, think about that a lot. <laughs> gotta remember. Hey, Tyler, I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Uh, where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? People came and went a lot, 
And besides, everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> Not everyone. Not people who get so close, they're like family. I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches and... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel them in. Come on, pull up on the rod. Now give it a nice pull. Come on, pull up on the rod. I got it, I got it. Mm. Slippery little. Got it. <laughs> Bravo. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. I should have said this earlier, but thanks for doing all this. You're making it sound like it's a big deal again. This is what friends do. Besides, I wanted to see if all this talk of yours was just that. Your verdict? You're doing pretty well, but don't let it go to your head. Still plenty of time for Ego to get the best of you. Yes, sir. So, ice fishing. I mean, yeah. What isn't there to like about standing in the middle of a frozen lake? All right, here we go. about them apples. Oh, nice job. So, you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. So, you gonna tell me what's in the cooler, or what? I could tell you. Or, I could watch you squirm a bit longer. Ugh. You're a terrible person. You know that? <laughs> you betcha. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez, you don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier, I'm a very serious man. So, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out, we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but... Last week, your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her. And start fresh. Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live out here. You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. 
I figured out who I was in there. But now I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. And you can lean on me too if you want. Just be careful, okay? I got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Don't you say anything. I got this. Three. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Can I ask you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that, that is a hard question. <laughs> Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth the chance. Don't you? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Hey, you're missing the show. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Hey, Ali. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later? You know I will. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway.
Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. And you took his word for it? He was crazy in love with Marianne. Whoever set that fire was doing damage control. And Sam's... nothing but damage. I guess he really doesn't have anything left to lose, does he? There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently, she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got our deadbeat dad to thank for that. What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. We don't have to do this. We might not like what we find. When has that ever stopped us? What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. Just a regular old light switch. The handle should be behind this. Ah, oh, there it is. It's opening up. The Secret Keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yup. Come on, let's find a way to climb up there. Can you see anything? Nope. Nada. Here, found a switch. That shaved a few years off my life. Whoa. It's... 
her story. Look, she left us something. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I don't know. Hmm. It seems like it's not doing anything. Maybe it's broken? Or maybe we just need to solve the puzzles in order. We're not done with the other one yet. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it. It's different, right? Can you check the book? What? Okay. Thought the differences. It moves. Oh. Some of these parts are buttons. Huh. No, no goblins. Yeah. In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the Mad Hunter. So we saved Marianne from something, but not in this version? The princess is running away from the Mad Hunter. Who was sent by the Gold Lady, according to the story. Do you think the gold lady could have been Marianne's mom? I mean, she always used to say she moved to the end of the world to get away from her family. Huh. Yeah, yeah you're right. She ran away. Just like the princess is here. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be her mother's castle. It looks like the princess is running away from it. So, Marianne ran away from home, and she grew up kinda rich? Does his smile look different to you? Hmm, maybe that branch looks a little bit different? Even if the branch is a little different, I don't really think that means anything. Pink flower. Was that in the original picture? Never mind. That's figured anything out yet? Nah, still figuring it out. It's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Uh, pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kinda rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Marianne. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her.
Did you know she studied engineering? No. But it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. An artsy environmentalist. Yep, that sounds like Marianne's exact kind of catnip. this guy been any more cryptic? Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before. Hmm. Is the gold lady setting the Aunt the Princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool? I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy the wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. What's the gold lady do? Is that it? It's opening. What's in there this time? Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Father. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that, with, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us?
What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. You need help? Yeah, I'm stuck. Any ideas? Hmm. A clock. What do you think this is about? She had that watchmaking job in Juno, right? So that was probably right before she- That's the gold lady's castle. Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old ba- What's that? Damn it. Why is nothing happening? What's that plant thing on top? This looks like a dinner- Come on. You need help? Yeah, I'm stuck. Any ideas? What's up with the salmonberry flowers? I think those probably represent the commune she stayed at after she moved out. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely- This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner- Come on! This looks like a dinner party with the old- This is the princess's- Come on! That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's loss. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And 
she ran away to start a new life. She made her way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind, built a whole new life for him. And then, he was just gone. I guess having us helps her move on. But when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but... All I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. But we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Okay, so how do we open it? The princess lost her most precious treasure. That's why it all happened. I still can't wrap my head around it. All right, should be easy enough. All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> Moonhag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. Crafty goblins go here. Uh, the mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. That's the pious pelican spot. Back in your pond, big frog. Gold lady stays locked up in her castle. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. There you go, stalwart moose. We'll get to those later. Let's finish this one, okay? Why don't we just break this open? There's a crowbar right downstairs. What? No. You don't want to try and figure out what all this means? I'm so done with her riddles. Yes. Did it just get darker in here? Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. I was her son. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. There's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes.
Come on, let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. The crafty goblins' good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. They broke open the beehive for the bear, or not. They hugged the princess when she was crying. They helped fix the beaver dam. Actually, I'm not sure. They removed a thorn from the... Frog's back. Actually, I'm not sure. They helped fix the beaver dam. Huh. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. Wait. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. Maybe not. broke open the beehive for the bear. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. Huh, they had to give nuts to the muskrat. Wait. Or not. They removed a thorn from the frog's back. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Wait. Actually, I'm not sure. Nailed it. 
Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. Crafty Goblin's Loot. That's from the Princess and the Two Thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. Then you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh... Some flour for the cake, maybe? Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. What if they took some spoons? That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. Hey. Now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these? The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we open up the book and check? Fresh caught salmon? Some roses, maybe? Actually, I'm not sure. A newly bloomed bluebell? Maybe not. A handful of ripe berries? A newly bloomed bluebell? Nice. Man, he had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Very old beaver's repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah. What did they do to fix it again? Uh, she fixed the roof shingles. She turned the power back on. Or not. She slapped the post with her tail to right it. She fixed the planks that- All right! Damn. That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um, he doesn't really like to talk about her.
I wish she just explained all this to us. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. And you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment, but she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. Do now. We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. Hey, you hearing me? Yep, sorry. I'm trying really hard to keep myself from punching him in the face. 
Does he really expect us to believe there wasn't anything else he could have done that night? I don't know, Ellie. I'd rather not think about it. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. He's not even the least bit sorry for what he did. He could have seriously hurt you. Yeah, he's just a fucking coward. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? I... but she... she never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. That was convenient for you, huh? You preyed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Nothing at all. Your mother was... a very pretty woman. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it, but I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Mary and Minnie died. That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. Thank <laughs> you. 
No! No way! You're a fucking liar! I saw what I saw. Ugh! You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her! Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch her. You know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back! Allie, you okay? He didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all these nightmares about that night, and they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. She had a gun pointed at me. 
She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? I guess it's possible. Fuck. I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? to kill you! I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you sure? Yes. That attic. Tyler, that was meant for us. It was our way of, of explaining what she was going through. I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? A little aged well, or just gone bad? Where are you at right now? I just keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. We freaked out. You weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking to you. And I... I killed her. Stop. I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. What? Seriously? I don't know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, 
I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But... I really want to keep what makes us... us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag. But she did not kill him. Because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted what do you the think? day he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. One last look, I'm good to go. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there. Okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. 
And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, uh, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay. I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. Man, seeing it empty is so weird. But at least it's the last time we'll ever have to. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fixit. Goodbye, broom. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, man on the moon? Posterity.
gonna miss this. One more jog down memory lane, Mr. Ronan? Hey, I'm having a private moment with me, myself, and I here. <laughs> okay, carry on. Time to move on. Everything okay, Ty? Actually, yeah. Everything really is. Too bad Tessa closed her cafe. That other place just doesn't quite hit the spot. Sucks to suck, Thomas Anthony Fecky. She finally dumped his ass. Well, this is goodbye for real, I guess. <laughs> hey, Aaron, it's Ty, Tyler Ronan. I, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog, and my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. 
but it was okay. It actually felt good to remember. Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around, and thank you. Thank you.